Welcome back to the channel and today I am in the rural countryside filming from Canada. For a few weeks time I am here before heading back down to Latin America. Now in today's video I'm going to dive into how you can start reducing your taxes and paying lower taxes as a digital nomad or as a global citizen. Before we dive in, this video is in partnership with Safety Wing, which I will be talking more about later in this video. So let's dive into how you can start reducing your tax as a global citizen. I see a lot of clients coming into us and a lot of the time the end goal, rightfully so, is to lower their taxes, to pay less taxes, and sometimes, not always depending on the lifestyle that you're building, but sometimes to leave their home country and relocate elsewhere, either full-time or part-time. Now, this can be a reality for almost anyone. Citizens of some countries are, of course, more difficult than citizens of others in order to fully lower their tax bill and pay zero or next to zero tax, but it is possible for every individual, depending on the lengths that you are willing to go to. But what I don't see talked about enough is the order of events that needs to take place when you're looking to lower your tax bill. Setting up a company in a tax-friendly country or in a country that is not traditionally known as tax-friendly, but using certain strategies can be tax-friendly for you, is certainly a piece of the puzzle, but by no means is it the beginning point where you should start. So I'm going to dive into where you should start and where we start with all clients who are coming into us who are looking to leave typically their Western country where they're paying high tax and they would like to leave the country and or get out of that system. Now, this is step one, is to leave the country permanently. In most cases, not all cases, in most cases, you are going to have to leave the country and from there become a non-resident. Many countries, especially Western countries, are continuing to implement much stricter rules, and I only foresee rules from governments becoming stricter as years go on. But even in the last few years, we have seen quite a few changes with some Western countries' government where they make it much more difficult in order for you to leave the system. A lot of the time, you're really going to have to cut all, if not most, of the ties that you have to that country. Now, there are certain ties, depending on the country, that I do recommend strategically keeping. However, for the most part, you're really going to have to cut all ties to that country. Simultaneous throughout this first step of the process, we are working with you to figure out how we can implement a system based on yourself, your lifestyle for the medium to long term, and of course your business and which countries are going to be beneficial for you to enter that system. And that is simultaneously with you leaving the country because all processes and especially these two processes do take some time. They're not something that can be done in a week, oftentimes even in one month. They do take time, and so you want to simultaneously ensure that the timing for both of these processes is going to accurately line up. So of course, leading from step one to step two, you're going to be entering a new country system, which I have already spoken about, and this can look very different depending on the country that you're entering, depending if you're setting up personal accounts, corporate accounts, investment accounts, you're setting up a company or a subsidiary company or various different companies potentially in different countries. This looks different for every client and every individual and of course for every business. So we work on steps one and step two simultaneously and once both of these structures are set up, they're in place, then we move on to the next step which is a very critical piece of the puzzle that quite honestly, I see most clients not thinking about this quite yet because they're not at this stage yet, but this is a critical part of the process, which is your banking and your payment processing. Now, in terms of banking, some countries are much more difficult than others, and some countries are quite straightforward, to be honest. In terms of not only personal bank accounts, but corporate bank accounts as well, you may think in some countries, just because you have a business structured in said country, then immediately a bank account is going to be able to be opened for you in a few days or less. That is absolutely not always the case. So you really want to make sure, whether it's personal or corporate accounts, that you will have access to banking almost immediately. And of course, going hand in hand with banking is the ever important payment processing. Now, this is typically used on the business side, on the corporate side, not so much when you're opening a personal account, but 
your company formation and where your company has residency comes into play throughout this process as well. And you want to make sure that you have solid payment processing or that you have options in order to set up subsidiary companies or payment processing in said country where your residency and your company is now based or in other countries that are going to play well with a hopefully flexible structure in terms of your company formation. Before moving forward to share who these structures are best for based on the type of lifestyle that you live, I do want to share about the partner of today's video, which is Safety Wing. Now, no joke, this actually happened to me during my travels. I could not walk for three months of my travels. And yes, I was in Japan during that time. And Japan is definitely a destination that you want to be able to walk around in. And I had such serious knee issues that I was wheelchaired for up to three months. It was not an experience that I would recommend for anyone, especially while traveling in Japan and Asia. And as a global citizen, you never know when health issues will arise. I have heard horror stories, not only of my own stories of traveling and hospitalization and injuries coming up unexpected, but I've also heard horror stories of hospitalizations from a mosquito bite, from falling off of a hammock, and from so many other everyday travel stories that you would never expect to end up in injury or potentially even hospitalization. So before embarking on your journey, whether it be for six months or for the rest of your life, health coverage is an absolute must. And trust me, something will happen on the road that you won't expect. So don't be unprepared. So regardless of the life you live, you know that Safety Wing has you covered. Now, Safety Wing offers two different comprehensive travel insurance plans. The first one called Nomad Insurance, which is a travel medical insurance for the unexpected while traveling outside of your home country. They also cover flight delays, lost baggage, trip interruption, and medical emergencies. But, and this is very interesting for my global citizens, if you plan to live full-time the global citizen lifestyle and potentially not return to your home country in coming years, Safety Wing now also has you covered with their plan Nomad Health. This is not available in every country as of yet, but it is available in most countries, so you can click the link below if you're interested in seeing if it's available in your country. And this is a global health insurance program that covers your medical needs worldwide, including in your home country, which is a big deal. You're covered for regular checkups at the doctor, dental, vision, even regular physio, which I definitely needed at one point. They even cover giving birth abroad for all of you interested in birth tourism. You can click the link that is linked below to create a free account and browse both plan options, see which countries they are available in, and see based on your lifestyle which plan is best for you. Trust me, medical coverage equals peace of mind when you're traveling as a global citizen. Let's next talk about who can benefit from reducing your taxes and from planning a lifestyle based around global citizen life traveling, living abroad, whether it be full-time or part-time, and of course, tax optimization. There are a few different camps of people where different solutions are going to look best depending on which camp of person you fall into. If you're looking to stay in your home country for most of the year, if not full-time, then none of this is applicable and you're probably not on this channel. The second camp of people is if you're looking for diversification options or if you're looking to relocate from your country part-time, potentially in the future, you're going to be relocating full-time, but you're not quite comfortable or at that stage yet where you're leaving your country full-time. The third camp of people is where you are ready to leave your country full-time. This is a serious decision and something that you have really thought about and you're wanting to optimize your taxes leave your home country, get into one or a few other country systems, and from there live a global citizen lifestyle. So for the second camp of people, what I typically recommend is residency diversification. So you're not going to start the tax planning company formation phase quite yet, but what is beneficial that I highly recommend is while some of these low hanging fruit options are still available for you to obtain whether you can meet the real estate investment or the income requirement or the documents needed are quite straightforward. 
If you can meet this criteria and you're looking for diversification options, some that could potentially lead to tax optimization in the future, and some that are just good back pocket residencies that you can hold for the rest of your life and have a plan B if you ever need to live full-time or part-time in another country, then these diversification options in terms of residency are for you. However, if you're in the third camp of person and you're really looking to relocate your life full-time, I recommend residency diversification, of course, because you're going to want to have likely various different, not home bases, but countries where you can legally reside, you are a resident, you have the rights to stay there for one day, one year, or 10 years. You're not going to be on a tourist visa and have to leave the country at any point. But not only this, if you are able to say goodbye to your home country and to get out of the system, leave full time, then that is when we can start working toward company formations that are tax optimized, getting your and your business's tax bill down to zero or close to zero. So these are the different camps of clients that I really like to visualize because I think it gives a good illustration of where you can fall into and not only where you fall into now, but where you're looking to build a lifestyle in the medium to long term. Of course, if you're looking to relocate and to have diversification options and of course to optimize your taxes, likely it's not going to be a short-term solution for you, which is why I always recommend looking into the medium and definitely looking into the long term in terms of lifestyle planning for decades out. You don't want to leave a system just to have to re-enter that system where potentially criteria to enter has become much more challenging than it was in the past. If you learned something new from this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and click the video on the screen now to continue learning about your global citizen and tax optimization journey.